Welcome to Highline Excel 2013 class video number 24. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 214 Week 4, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to see how to use the large and the small function to get either the kth largest or the kth smallest. Now, what does kth mean? K-T-H. Let's just look at large. It's pretty self-explanatory. You highlight a range of values and you tell it 1 or 2 or 3. If you give it 1, it'll find the max. If you give it 2, it'll find the second biggest. So this is pretty cool. It's like a supercharged max function. I'm going to control shift down arrow F4. Now, since we're getting the top 5, it's convenient for the K to just put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 next to the cell with our formula close parentheses, control enter, and double click and send it down. That is so cool, including it will display ties because two people got the same 86. Now sometimes you do not want to have your numbers in a column. You need to just display the top five. Ah, we got to remember back to just a video or two ago, we saw the rows functions. What does rows do? If you say rows function, look at D7 to D11, it counts how many rows there are. 7 to 11 is 5. But that's not what we want. We need this to give us 1, 2, 3, 4 as we copy our formula down. So we want this formula element to increment the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 as we copy down. Here's the trick. I'm sitting in E7, right? So I'm going to say E dollar sign 7 colon E7. What this does is, if only I could type. What this does is it says the 7 is locked. So as we copy down, the 7 will not move. But that 7 is not locked. So it will move to 8 and then 9 and then 10. Right now, how many rows are between 7 to 7? There's one row. Control Enter double click and send it down. Look, we have an expandable range, so when I come all the way down to the bottom, the range as we copy down has expanded. 7 to 11, how many rows? 5. And that's the little trick. We put that formula element into the large. Control shift down arrow F4 and then comma, so our K will have that rows. If you wanted to display these horizontally, there's a parallel function called columns, which counts how many columns. And we saw that a few videos ago. Control Enter and double click and send it down. Now, if we remove this, of course these wouldn't work, but this one works just fine. Control Z. Now, in this example here, instead of getting the largest test scores, which makes sense, we want to get the smallest assembly time. So we have a column of assembly times and we're interested in the five fastest. So we're going to come over here and just like there's a large, there's a small. Highlight the array, control shift down arrow F4, comma, left arrow to get one to five. Close parentheses, double click and send it down. Oh, wow, five. Someone who was getting 12 minutes but here someone got 5.23 and 5.31 minutes for assembling. Now, same thing holds. Sometimes you do not want your cells to contain the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or even the 10 or 20th. The large and small can pick up any number of top or bottom items. Equals rows, and here we're in K7. Now notice K dollar sign 7 colon K7. I'm actually putting the cell reference that the formula is sitting in into the formula. There's not very many formulas that can do that, but rows and columns can do that. So I've locked the 7, but not the 7 here. Now, why did I pick the actual cell that I'm sitting in? Because if this is ever copied or cut or pasted anywhere, it will always work because the cell reference is looking at itself, right? Control Enter, double click and send it down. F2, the active cell, I have a bunch of cells highlighted. I'm going to edit the formula in the active cell. Small, 
control shift down arrow F4, comma, and then there is the K. Close parentheses. To populate my edited formula, control enter. That is so amazing. So if I get rid of this, boom, works like magic. Control Z. All right, large and rows, small and rows. We'll see you next video.